There is a night that is so blessed. There is a night that is so magnificent that Allah Azza wa Jal has allowed the greatest creation of His angels. Allah has commanded the most magnificent of all of the angels to come down and be in our presence because of the blessedness of that night. It is the only night of the year that Jibreel visits us again after the demise of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And of course, he comes down the way he is. We cannot see him, but he is as he is. تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا Allah mentions it for us. He wants us to know. It's not a normal night. It's not an average night. I am sending the best of the angels down to all of you. Don't you understand and realize? I am allowing Jibreel to come and I'm telling him. And Allah references to us. He literally reminds us, O oh mankind, I am telling you Jibreel is coming down. That's how special this night is on Laylatul Qadr. Can you imagine we have the opportunity for Jibreel to make dua for us, for Jibreel to see us and see us in Qiyam and see us in Sajda. How can we possibly give up that opportunity? How can we let go of this blessing and prize that has been given to us? The greatest of all angels is coming down and he shall scour this entire earth. And we have the opportunity to be standing and praying and asking Allah Azza wa Jal and to be witnessed by those angels that this one night is better than a thousand months. Laylatul Qadri khayru min al shahr. Maybe you'll understand this one aspect. It is better than, not equivalent to, better than. It's more than. One night is more than a lifetime of worship. It is narrated in the Muatta of Imam Malik that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam looked at the previous lifespans and he realized they live for many, many centuries. And he said, Oh Allah, how can my ummah compete with those people? My ummah is going to live for 60, 70 years. They live for hundreds of years. How can my ummah compete with them? And so Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala revealed only for our ummah. He blessed us with Laylatul Qadr. Every year he gave us a night. That one night is equivalent to more than 80 years of worship. So every year we live, it is as if we have a lifetime of worship that the other ummahs did not have. This one night of worship will give us more than 83 years of continuous worship. Every minute of Laylatul Qadr is worth more than two and a half months of worship. Every minute, can you imagine simply saying, Saying 10 times subhanallah will give you two and a half months of dhikr and ibadah. Laylatul Qadr is called Qadr because Qadr means predestination. And on this night, our Qadr is announced for the rest of the year. On this night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the angels, our Qadr, who shall live, who shall die, who shall be given a child, who shall increase rizq, whose sickness is going to be cured, who shall fall sick. Every affair that has been decreed, min kulli amr, everything that has been decreed, the angels come down, their tasks have been assigned. And what did our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say? Nothing changes qadr other than dua. In other words, our dua has the impact has the possibility, has the potentiality to change our Qadr. How can we not be begging Allah while our Qadr is being decided, while our Qadr is being announced? How can we not be standing in prayer and begging Allah, Oh Allah, bless us with the best Qadr of this year. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whoever deprives himself from those nights, حَرُمَ الْخَيْرَ kulla. All good has been deprived of him. If you're not gonna change in Ramadan, and if you're not gonna sacrifice for Laylatul Qadr, then what could you possibly sacrifice for? And then he said, whoever stands in prayer on Laylatul Qadr, all of his previous sins will be forgiven.